हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सौम्य दिसमाना आई एम ए साइकोलॉजिस्ट फ्रॉम श्रीनगर विद्वाल उत्तराखंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट कॉग्नेटिव बिहेवियरल थेरेपी इट इज अ वेरी इफेक्टिव थेरेपी दिस थेरेपी वाज डेवलप्ड बाय एरन बेक इन द अर्ली 1960s ही वाज एन एमडी एंड एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन साइकाइट्री एट द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ पेंसिल्वेनिया ही आइडेंटिफाइड दैट डिस्टॉर्टेड नेगेटिव थॉट्स एंड बिलीव्स as a primary feature of depression he then developed a structured and present oriented therapy of depression which helps in solving current problems and modifying dysfunctional thinking and behavior here dysfunctional means inaccurate or unhelpful psychotherapists use this therapy to treat almost all kinds of mental health issues in this covid-19 crisis most people have mental health issues people have hundreds of automatic thoughts every day that affect their behavior in cbt sessions we first of all identify current thinking and problematic behaviors for example you are worried about your health you have a fear of death because of corona virus then you need to identify all of your negative thoughts at that moment identify and recognize them then check the validity of those thoughts question yourself if your negative thoughts are really true then you will get better answers yourself in this lockdown when you can't go for therapy sessions to the psychotherapist you can yourself make use of cbt techniques to solve your problems the abc model is a basic cbt technique this model was created by dr albert ellis he was a psychologist here a stands for activating event b for your beliefs about the event and c for consequences which includes your behavioral or emotional response so cbt focuses on changing beliefs in order to create more positive consequences using this model the therapist helps the client explore the connection between beliefs and consequences the therapist then helps to reevaluate these beliefs through cbt the client learns how to recognize potential beliefs about adverse events which helps the client to get better and healthier consequences and helps to move forward any adverse event in life may spark irrational thoughts these thoughts lead to negative emotions like anger sadness anxiety guilt fear embarrassment using abc model you can help explore more rational thoughts which in turn helps you develop more positive emotions Now this whole corona crisis is an adverse event which has developed irrational thoughts which is why people are experiencing negative emotions so if you can't go for therapy sessions then at least make use of cbt yourself or you can help your family members and friends using this technique this therapy is based on a deep understanding of specific beliefs and patterns of behavior of the individual The therapist focuses to produce a cognitive change that is modification in the client's thinking and belief system to bring about emotional and behavioral change. When people learn to evaluate their thinking in a realistic way, they experience improvement in their behavior. CBT is used to treat wide range of problems such as depression, anxiety disorder, addictions, sleep disorder, marital problems, eating disorder, phobias, and severe mental illness like schizophrenia or bipolar disorder etc research suggests that cbt leads to significant improvement in the functioning of life cbt involves efforts to change thinking patterns learning to recognize distortions in thinking that are creating problems then reevaluate them that is think realistically is a main focus of cbt cbt helps the client to become his own therapist Through CBT sessions and the homework exercises given by the therapist, the client develops coping skills and learns to change his or her own thinking and behavior. CBT therapist emphasizes what is going on in the present, that is the current life, rather than focusing on the past. Information about the client's history is needed, but the focus is on moving forward to develop effective ways of coping. CBT focuses on changing the automatic negative thoughts which cause mental illness. Through CBT these thoughts are identified, challenged and then replaced with realistic thoughts. The goal of CBT is to teach people that they can't control every event or situation of their life, but they can control their interpretations of the situation and the way they deal with stressful situations of their life. 
So that's all for today. In the next part, I'll tell you the principles of CBT in detail. Please like, share and comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.